Next question is from one Koner. If you're not getting sore, should you do more sets in your workout? No. Um, it, first off, I look and see if you're progressing. Are you getting stronger? Are you improving your mobility? If so, then you're doing everything right. Soreness is a terrible uh, indicator of how good or bad your it's workout is. It's technically a sign of overtraining. Yeah, if mm -hmm. you get really sore, that means you probably overdid it. You know, I, here's ideally here's what how I like to feel after a workout, or how I'd like my clients to feel after their workouts. Maybe a little soreness or none. That's it. Mm -hmm. If I ask them that, I, and I used to, I would do this especially when I get new clients because when you start training the when you first get into working out. It's difficult to gauge intensity because you don't know what's too much, what's not, you know, what's too little. Mm -hmm. So I'd, I would text my client the day after and then the day after that and I'd say, how do you feel? And if they tell me, oh, man, I'm really sore, I know I overdid it. If they said, um, I kind of, I think I feel it a little bit, but otherwise I'm okay. Or if they say, oh, I feel great, then we're on the right path. So soreness, aside from telling you you overdid it. Other than that, there's really no, no value in looking at you know how sore you are. It doesn't tell you that your workout was effective. Yeah, I picked this because this was one of those that uh, initially we had talked about uh, you know a while back. Like I know a lot of my clients would share the same sentiment. Like if if they didn't walk out of the the workout and the next day they got sore, they felt like okay, can we like ramp it up? Like what are we doing here? And I mean it's just a common thing that I think people attribute a good workout with soreness. It's still something that exists. I know that we kind of breeze past it all the time because, but this was definitely one of those uh, kind of groundbreaking things that I had to like mentally uh, establish with my clients that yes, initially you, you, you may feel this tightness, this soreness, you know, the first, you know, few weeks because it's just novel stimulus, right? And, and that does happen. And, and when we switch it up, you're going to feel, you know, maybe a difference uh, with the soreness just from doing different things. But uh, eventually your body's going to react a little bit differently and so uh to, to be able to walk out of these and then come back with more energy and, and feel stronger that's those are the metrics that i'm going for not the soreness i think of it real similar to like how i think about losing body fat right so everybody wants to see the scale move when you talk about body fat and it's like no i know i'm in the in the perfect sweet spot if i can actually maintain your scale weight but lean you out because I, then I know I'm, I'm applying just the right of a caloric deficit to still be able to build a little bit of strength and muscle while you also lose body fat. I think of the same thing, too, when I'm trying to gauge intensity of my training. Can I continue to build strength and mobility in my client without them getting really sore? Yeah. If I can do that, That's I know I am hit, I'm hitting that sucker right in the sweet spot. You know, is it is it likely that I'm going to overreach sometimes and get them a little more sore than I need? Yeah, that's probably going to happen along the way. But I know if we are getting stronger week over week or month over month and they're not feeling sore, I know I'm like, I'm hitting it as a trainer. I'm hitting it just right on the intensity because I'm not overreaching and potentially setting that person back. It's the same way I look at losing body fat. Yeah, and I'll tell you what, when I'm getting my best results, it's when I'm not getting sore. No joke. When I'm doing good workouts and mm -hmm. I feel good and I feel strong, and then the next day I'm not really sore, that's usually when I'm kicking butt. That's usually when I'm progressing and getting stronger each time I work out. It, when I'm getting really sore, you know, once in a while because I change my workout is okay, but if I consistently get too sore, they usually – they usually following with uh, me losing progress. I'm not yeah. getting stronger. I'm not performing better. Yeah, I also notice my volume goes up a bit too, just personally because of not being sore and like you know just like adding in a bit more uh, you know reps and uh, you know more different exercises. It's just it's one of those natural things that just happens because you got more energy and you're you're able to do a bit more.